G'day everyone. There's a very cool major upgrade to virtual columns in 23AI. Now, if you're unfamiliar with virtual columns, here's a, a quick overview of what they are. I can create this little table here called T. It's got a column called X. What if I have some sort of expression, some sort of calculation on X that I'd like to expose as a column? I don't have to use a trigger to store that extra value. What I can do is I can add a generated column or a virtual column called Y. I've simply said it's X plus one in this case. You can think of it a bit like a view. The expression is calculated at runtime. I insert the value of 10 into column X. I have to nominate X because Y is not a column. I don't nominate it at insert time. But then when I query the table, you can see Y is automatically calculated as the values are brought back to me. The expression can also be a PL SQL function as long as it's deterministic. In this example, I create a little PL SQL function called my virtual column. And what it does is it does the same as we did before, returning an increment of one. I'll drop my table. I could have just dropped the column, but I'll drop my table and recreate it now with that new virtual column definition. And now I'll go ahead and insert 10 rows, just using a connect from dual. And when I query it, you can see we've effectively run that PL SQL function 10 times once for each row coming back from the table. But I'm glossing over a potential problem here. Let me add a touch more reality. I'm gonna create a person table now. I'll insert multiple rows, this time using the 23AI improved insert syntax where I can do multiple rows with a single insert command. I'm going to insert some people here with various salaries. I've got myself, I've got Dom, I've got Maria, I've got Nigel. Um, we've got the same salary and we'll insert Larry as well and he's got a nice big healthy salary. Let's say I have some requirement to generate someone's bonus or their commission based on their name, their person ID and their salary and I've got a PL SQL function that's going to call some remote web service to do this. Rather than actually build a web service to do it, I'm gonna simulate that with my PL SQL function. I'm just gonna have a long latency. I'm gonna sleep for half a second, which simulates uh, some sort of ex you know, external call to go get some value to calculate someone's bonus. I can add that bonus now as a virtual column, like I did in the previous examples. Now, what's gonna happen when I try calculate that bonus calculation every time I do a query. I've set array size to one here so we can see the results coming back as we go. I select from my table and as you can see because my virtual, no pun intended, web service takes half a second per execution, now it's costing me half a second for pretty much every single row in the table. It takes two and a half seconds for the five rows. That might be fine but in reality a lot of databases are insert once query lots of times. So what that means is, A, I'm paying that performance penalty every single time I query this table. And also, my external web service is also being hammered as well. It's being called every single time someone runs a query. Maybe that's not what I want to do. 23AI solves this problem. It now gives us a new clause. I can decide when I'm going to pay that price. I'll drop the bonus column, but re-add it again, this time with a new clause of materialized. Materialize means when I insert rows into this table, I'm going to take that cost then, I'm gonna go ahead and actually find the value and store it alongside the column. It becomes a genuine column, so to speak, even though we define it as a virtual column. The materialize element says, I'm going to calculate the value and store it along with the rows. Now I insert a single row and you can see it took half a second. I paid the price at insert time. I insert some more rows and you can see it's half a second per invocation. So this time coming up with just over two seconds. But look at my query performance now. Because the, the cost has been paid already, the query performance is instantaneous. Updates are the same. If I make a change to one of the columns that is implicated in my bonus calculation, then I'm going to call that function, call that web service, and pay that performance price again. You can see it took half a second. But still, the benefit is the query performance is instantaneous. So you get that choice now. Do I pay the price at insert time if I don't insert as much as I query, or do I pay the price at query time if the query performance is not an issue? In this case, it's half a second per invocation. For the Postgres fans out there who might be thinking, hmm, this looks a lot like the stored keyword we can use for our implementation. You'll be pleased to know that when you're migrating over to Oracle, no need to panic, we also accept the stored clause in place of the word materialize. So easier migration for you. 
This is one of a number of virtual column enhancements coming in 23AI, but they'll be the story for a, another video. As always, we're doing continuous enhancements to the product in each release update of 23AI, so keep your eyes open for all the goodies that will be coming your way. But in the meantime, now you can choose between calculator at runtime or calculator at data insertion time with virtual column materialized options.